In the town of Jasper, Oregon, lived three bright and lively teens who dedicated their lives to being as good Samaritans as possible. But that was all about to change. Hey guys, my parents are finally letting me go out on weekdays. Want to go do something PG in town? Only if we're able to help pick up some litter on our travel. We should always strive to be better. So true. Brenda, you really know what's up. Okay, my parents said I could hang out till 7 tonight. After that, I'm choosing to do a one hour homework session and be in bed by 9. Lol, I'm doing the same, don't worry. Want to meet up at the park? I feel like we need to be one with nature. It's so beautiful. That's what I like to hear. We need to be the change. Okay, see you later, lol. <laughs> this is such a good photo. It was from the day that we helped out at the community church with the kitties. I have the greatest friends. Pretty good, thanks. Greetings. Holy sheep, Matthew. That book is so cool. It sure is. I found it on the side of the road and I was gonna recycle it, but I thought we should take a peek. <gasps> Maybe it's a book about proper parenting. Mine haven't stopped fighting for two years. Aw, don't worry, Daryl. They'll come to love each other again one day. Just like how we love the earth. I'm with you, Brenda. <laughs> Aw, you guys are the greatest friends. Now let's go look at that cool book. Wait, is that a pentagram? Oh, oh, what's happening to us? My pain is on life. Why do they seem more rational and realistic? Wait, the world isn't just sunshine and rainbows? Why was I so blind to real world problems? Salutations, teenagers. You are now the embodiment of hatred. Your superpower is on to you, and I need you to create hell on earth. Destroy everything in your path and be who you really want to be. I feel weird. Like, really, really weird. Like, my head is ten times more open than usual. And why do I have the sudden urge to go dye my hair and put my opinions in place that's not necessary? And I might actually wear ripped jeans say cuss words uncontrollably. Oh, and I'll go have sex. Lots of unprotected sex. Okay, but are you guys feeling what I'm feeling? Like the sun change in us or something? Wait, the book, did it do something? Why was there a pentagram in it? Wait guys, this isn't just some random book. This book belongs to Satan. I used to be scared of that name, but it kind of has a new meaning. The three baddies had quickly become used to their new and improved state of mind. What they didn't know was that the enchanted book had secretly granted them supernatural powers. Wait, superpowers? Guys, look. Does that hurt? Cause if it did, that'd be funny as fuck. No, it feels awesome. Where's the nearest building with the largest capacity? see a little boy running around? He's only two years old. Um, that's not my problem. Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. That's not my problem, so get off my back. How would you watch your attitude, young man? Yeah, how about you shut the hell up? Ugh. I think we need a change of scenery. Calm 
quest for her famine and death. This will be the Earth's last breath. Actually, I skipped today. School's not really my thing anymore. I'm kind of a bad girl now. You can't just skip school. And why are you wearing ripped jeans? Newsflash, I don't really care what you think. Brenda, I will not put up with this attitude. Get to your room right now. You think you can tell me what to do? You have three seconds. And, and you have no seconds. <laughs> Shit, what did you do to your mom? You want some of this? I'm done with this family. I'm out of here. Yeah, I killed about 32 people today. Oh yeah? Well, I burned down just about every building in a 200 mile radius. I think today was pretty successful. Don't snap, just killed my parents. Everything was going fine today until my mom decided to have an aneurysm and some short-haired chick freak decided to call me bi because I was wearing a flannel. Okay, but you are bi, so what's the issue? Shut up! Holy shit, I don't remember asking you! Can you guys shut the fuck up? I'm writing a song about my ex right now. Sad vibes only. You know what? No. You guys will never understand my pain. Brenda, calm down. I really don't think anyone cares how you dress. Don't tell me to calm down! <laughs> Brenda, what the hell? Control yourself! What? How, how did I, I... I didn't even mean to do that! You're letting your emotions get in the way of your powers. It seems like our attitudes are growing at an alarming rate. Okay, okay. I know my stuff will ever touch me again! again. Ugh. Ugh. I oh, will wait. kill you! Stop! Please! Stupid that house I Brenda? You just killed him! Well, what was I supposed to do? He was pissing me off! Anything but that! What were you thinking? You know what? Why don't you mind your business and go wash your ass, Daryl? And so time passed by. Daryl and Brenda were both diagnosed with depression in the following year. Brenda couldn't live with herself. She had quickly put her power use to an end. Meanwhile, Daryl had grieved his best friend's death every waking hour. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever stopped thinking about you. I never thought I'd be living my life without you, and yet, here we are. I should have thought before I acted. That was so stupid of me. I miss all the times we had together. Like, when we were younger and went to those video dances, or or even those stupid summer camps. Grade 5 graduation. Grade 8 graduation. Our first day of high school. All those homework clubs. Even that huge party we had for your birthday where my mom made you have a gluten-free cake. I remember every minute of it. Every second of it. You had such an innocent smile. <gasps> how, how could we be so dumb? How could I be so dumb? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Hey, I mean, hi, Daryl. Hi, Brenda. It's... it's been a year since. I know. I, I don't know how to feel. I just want him back. Well, the afterlife 
is always an option too. I think we still have our powers, so we can we can just use them on each other. And be with him again. I'm ready. So am I. See, See you on, on the other, other side. side. It was a sad ending for Brenda and Daryl. They had lost themselves in their own sorrow, constantly living with the burden on their back. Their only way out was suicide. Daryl, you've been blinded by hatred and blasphemy. Your morals and values turned against you, and now your life has come to an end. Your innocence shall be returned, and the hate from your heart removed. Daryl, I'm letting you have a second chance. Don't make the same mistake again. Hey, Daryl. Hey. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Greetings. Hey, Holy sheep, Matthew. That book is so cool. It sure is. I found it on the side of the road, and I was going to recycle it, but I thought we should take a peek. Wait, guys, um... I have a feeling that we shouldn't open the book. I feel like it could do us a lot of harm. Come on, Daryl. Just a book. Please, guys. This could save our lives. I... I love you guys. I love you too. Aw, you guys are the best friends ever. And if this book really will tear us apart, then I want nothing to do with it. I trust in you, Daryl. Just like how we trust in each other. There really is something good about looking on the brighter side. 